Hi there, Booktube. It's Ros again. Hello, and Steve. Again, as mm. ever. And it's the last week of Sanctuary in August, and we've been Sanctuary. Sanctuary in August. Yeah. Shall we start again? No. 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 We'll just, just carry on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah he just, doesn't. Do you yeah. mind me making idiot mistakes? We'll just, we'll just blag it. No, blag it. No, okay. no one will notice. No one will notice. No one will notice. Last week of Fortnum in August, we've been reading Sanctuary. <laughs> and um, and this week we finish it. We finished it. And so we get a chance to think about the last quarter and kind of just, but maybe more, reflect back on the book as a whole and mm -hmm. how we felt about the experience of reading this one. Um, maybe compared with the things we've read. Previous Faulkners. Previous Faulkner, Faulkners and Faulkners in Augusts. Um, but first up, I should just say a quick thank you to the Upper Faulkner in August hosts, um, Alan, Brian, Noah and Una and Crypto. And I'll, I'll kind of put that in the show notes. Well but And an even bigger thank you to everyone who's been in the Voxer group for the interesting discussions that we've had, which... Steve didn't join in on because he's antisocial, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't invited. Oh, really? <laughs> Boxer? Well, What's that? Know, I don't do boxing, he don't. says. Anyway. Anyway, back to the book. Let's get on with it. I was kind of glad to finish. Yeah. Were you? Yes, I think so. Yeah. It's, it's not it's it's not gone to the top of my list of uh, Faulkner books. <laughs> and that's well, it's not good. that long. It's undoubtedly good. It's undoubtedly got a lot of things in it that that show that yeah. Faulkner is a great writer. It just didn't really um, do it for me. I think it was um, yes. slightly too histrionic. I think in fact. <laughs> <laughs> histrionic is well, a good well, word for this. Actually, that's unfair, isn't yeah. it? But it it oh. was just yeah, sensationalist, I guess. I suppose. Yeah. And, you know, other people have talked about this, so, you know, we won't go on about it, but, you know, he, he supposedly wrote it intending to be a bit sensational and as something that would be a money spinner. And actually, you know, there is more to the book than that, in that mm. he can't help himself because he's, you know, mm. he can't not write tremendous descriptions of, of, of scenes and environments. He can't yeah. not conjure up really strong emotional atmosphere. Um or, or create a character in a, in, a, in a few lines, you know, all of that he, he does. But in terms of plot, that, uh, that's where this one fell down yeah. for me, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a sensationalist kind of plot. I mean, it's, yeah. it's got links to, um, you know, the sort of, uh, yeah, books, you know, abducted, uh, abducted young women is, uh, is, a, is a common theme, I think, of the early, certainly the early part of the 20th century, yeah. uh, you know, and playing on sort of fears of, uh, uh, Yes, uh, this corruption, I guess, and yeah. um, possibly the the working classes are rising up to take over, or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, and I, mean, I think I said last time it's against the background of you know the um, financial crash in the late twenties and early thirties and depression, or well, the coming depression, I guess, by yeah. the time it was written. Yes, because it's nineteen thirty one. This yeah. came out, so yeah, yeah. I, but I guess that's yeah, pre depression, but post uh, yeah. Wall Street. Post crash. So. so um, it, the last part of the novel brings some things together mm. very quite successfully for me actually i think um because we get um goodwin's trial and um uh, bembo thinking that he can you know put up a kind of decent defense mm. of of goodwin and the trial does not go as he expects so so you know there's a kind of like a I suppose, you know, quite a good plot twist around that. Surprise witness shock. Yeah. yeah. The witness that he thought would mm. save Goodwin's neck, as it were, um, is is persuaded mm. to do the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that sort of perversion of justice, I suppose, is, mm. is, is um, one might see as one of the... the the big themes of the book, if it were a big theme book, which I'm not sure it is. Mm. It's also compounded by, you know, um, manipulation by Bembo's sister, who's, who, yeah, I mean, he writes a letter yes. to his wife asking for a divorce. Um, his sister, his sister then visits the district attorney, presumably giving information about how to find temple, temple. And, and stuff like that. And, uh, uh, and, you know, she seems determined to get him 
she thinks she seems to frighten that he's going to fall for Ruby, um, possibly, and mm. wants to basically wants to get Bembo back with his wife, which yes. eventually he does yeah. go back. Um, yeah. So the mm. it, it's almost like the 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 unexpected. Um, uh, what's the word for a bad guy? That isn't a bad guy, you know, the 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 yes, the the, the evil. The ultimate evil character in this book that is full of <laughs> um, explicitly violent, monstrous characters mm. like Popeye actually turns out to be the kind of upper class um, woman in many ways. You know, Narcissa, mm. uh, you know, is the one that that brings um, uh, brings about the death of Lee Goodwin and uh, and. and um, Yes. Bembo's downfall and indeed Ruby's and, again. and probably Ruby's yeah. downfall and and uh yes, you know, mm. in a in a without ever touching anyone in mm. violence, she causes it. Causes um it, yeah. uh, interesting. Yeah. Um she yes, yeah, she's a sort of deeply hypocritical character, mm. I guess. Um yeah. Yeah. but yeah, concerned with um, appearances, I think. Um, oh absolutely, yeah. 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 And but yes, yes, she she um so Temple is is persuaded. We don't know exactly how and exactly mm. by whom, but we but Narcissa seems to have set it up. Um she's persuaded to um testify that it was Goodwin that, that raped her, not Popeye. And shot Tommy. And yeah. that it was Goodwin yeah. that shot Tommy. And so Goodwin is found guilty in eight mm. minutes. Um and uh and then ultimately is is actually lynched mm. um, in in what is a, a one of Faulkner's tour de force um, scenes mm. of um, uh, atmosphere and drama and description you mm. know the description of the, the the drummers and you know right, that's that mob, yeah. yeah and the mob yeah. it's very effective and and the jeopardy that Bemba finds himself in when he goes to to, to sort of investigate I think yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. Yeah, yes, a vivid scene, and again, yes. quite unpleasant in many ways, yeah. it, which is supposed to be. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, uh, and then and then Temple is kind of scooped up by her family, mm. um, by her father and her brothers, um, and she's she's sort of like a little limp, limp doll mm. at that point, but she's got the family resources to, mm. to ultimately rescue her. Whereas Ruby... We never know what happens to Ruby. Ruby just disappears. Yeah, disappears. And I, at first I was kind of resentful that Faulkner didn't tell me what happened to mm. Ruby. But then I thought it, that's almost fitting. Well, I think it, it, it's um, it's like opposites, isn't it? Mm. If, you're, if you, you're looking at it, you know, the Temple is saved and Ruby, we don't know what happens to her. I mean, she's, she's the poor, you know, poor woman. She's uh, been railroaded out of town. Even even the Baptists, the Christians, don't uh, don't want her around. So mm. she's rejected. Yeah. Um, well, quite, and Narcissa was being yeah, that again. Yeah. yeah. Re rejected quite significantly. Yeah. 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 And so she just disappears from the story and we, mm. we don't know what happens to her. I was, I was, I was, yeah, I was okay with that. I think that, that, yeah. that worked for me. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Well, what didn't work for me in terms of uh, car yes. character endings is, is is the bit about the, the little codicil about Popeye. Yes. Which, um, what, was this, what was this for? I thought it was unnecessary, really. I thought, yeah, I'd have quite liked it because obviously Popeye has been the um, embodiment of malevolence. Yes. Uh, if he he just disappeared off, yeah. you know, just to go and be malevolent somewhere else. Yes. You know, he's, yes. He's, yes. He's, that the devil moves on, yeah, as it were, would have been force. satisfying. Yeah. But uh, but instead we get a like a, we get his backstory. Yeah. It, Which seemed to be tagged on a bit. I, it, yeah, it did. It uh, did structurally that didn't mm. you know I don't mind a non-linear plot as we yeah, know mm. but that. Yes, it did. It, it did feel like a sort of odd little yeah. out of place addition. I also really disliked it for for another reason, um, and I know you mm. felt the same. Essentially, the implication is that Popeye was um, somehow sort of I don't know developmentally delayed or non neurotypical or I, I don't know. You, you mm. know, we we we're, we're meant we we see him as you know a child that doesn't talk until he's he was born bad. But, and and yeah, so it's a very ableist kind of mm. idea of oh well, you know he's bad because the, he's 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 wrong. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, there was there was some sort of bad blood genetic kind of thing. You know, his grandmother was, uh, you know, seemed to be an arsonist or a fire yeah. setter of some some uh, history. Yeah. And his mother, I think, the implication was that she was somehow diseased or. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So he was maybe a sub syphilitic yeah. baby, and, and, and I don't know, but there was something just. Yeah. Didn't quite work. Out. No. It was unnecessary. I unnecessary, thought, yeah. and 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 I didn't yeah. like the 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 implication. Yeah. You know, I mean, Faulkner can write very sort of um, sympathetically about um, sort of intellectually impaired mm. characters, as we know. He does, Tommy, you know, the nicest mm. character, I suppose, in this book is is mm. is the intellectually impaired one, Tommy. But but yes, with Popeye, it was sort of used in a yeah a way that I found mm. yeah I, unhelpful. Yeah, and, and you know, and we don't we 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 try very really hard not to impose our 21st century values on older books, but some things just sort of yeah. rub me up the wrong way in that. <clears throat> I just thought that structurally it was it not it just wasn't either. needed. You yeah. know, you, you could have just left yeah. out that, that that bit and, and it, finished with Temple in Paris with her father and um and and because the actual ending, I, mm. yes, the final ending, mm. Temple of it, I really like. So we just get this little, you know, couple of paragraphs in the end. At, at the end, and mm. you're you're in a cafe in Paris, and Temple is there with her father, and and you know it's, she's so she's been taken there to recover, but also taken there, I think, to allow scandal to die down. Mm. And you know, will will they ever go back? I don't know, but it it, it kind of it, it was sort of melancholic, but yeah. yet. Um, yeah, it brought it to a nice. And, and again, ending. it's about appearances and yeah, um, you know, and maintaining a, yeah. you know, maintaining a front in, yeah. in society, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, but also, I suppose a little bit of me would like to hope that you know Temple can, in some way, be recover from her ordeal. Although, um, having condemned an innocent man to death, should she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was glad to have read this book. Mm. Very glad because it showed me a side to Faulkner that I wouldn't otherwise have known mm. and it made me appreciate some of his strengths as a writer that even when he's writing a book that I don't mm. particularly like, I could still see, yeah. you know, the quality of, 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 of um, elements of the writing. But yeah. I wouldn't, if I, I wouldn't be, I will be careful about my next Faulkner choice, mm -hmm. put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, yes. As I said, it's not uh, it's not gone into my um. My, yeah, I've read four Faulkners now, and uh, it's not made the top three. So yeah. uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of Faulkner in August. Thank you, everyone who took part, and um, roll on next year and with another different and exciting Faulkner novel. Has not he, has he written any more? Uh, just a few. Has he? Oh, right. Yeah, not yet chosen, although. Uh, We've got a few front runners, so um, I quite like Absalom, Absalom or something. We, yeah, yeah. But you, 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 yes, yes, I quite fancy that, but we're not allowed to just you know, oh, we're not. No, I didn't know these, you didn't tell me there were rules. <laughs> so, um, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from her. <laughs> <laughs>